All right, guys, we're going to go over how to use this RV. First of all, the propane tank's located right here. To access it, you would just literally lift this lid off, and the tank's right underneath it. Uh, there is a battery here. Hopefully, you don't ever need to do anything with the battery, but it is located right there if you do. Every corner has a stabilizer jack. Um, they're located right on each corner, and uh, inside the RV, there's a little hand crank to lower those. They are just stabilizers. They are not like levelers or anything. What they do is once they hit the ground, they just make the trailer less wobbly when you're walking inside. Uh, so make sure you put those down when you're when you're inside. Also, always remember to put them all the way up. Uh, you don't want to be driving away and, and, and have them down. It'll bend them and break them, and then you'd have to pay for new jacks, and that wouldn't be good. Uh, right here, you have a really nice entry door. Uh, just be careful, this is a glass door, so uh, make sure you're not slamming it too hard or anything. Um, and then your steps are pretty simple. You literally just reach in here like this. You're going to pull them out. And then there's one more right here. You just flip it down. Just remember, this is a pretty large step between here. So make sure uh, you're just aware of that. Um, you don't want to fall out or anything. And then the grab handle here. Anytime you travel, we like you to lock the door. And then this guy will spin just like this so that the door doesn't pop open on you or anything. Um, as we come around, you have uh, a couple of electrical outlets out here for uh, when you're camping. Um, just remember, no um, electrical stuff really works without the generator on and running or plugged in at the park. Your lights and water pumps, that stuff will run off battery, but uh, you'll have to recharge your batteries every day. So make sure if you're dry camping, you do need a generator. If you're plugged in at the RV park, obviously you don't because you have shore power. Um, there's a nice little storage area here. It does go through the whole unit and then you can actually access it from inside the RV. Um, once again, you have your little stabilizer jack here and then hopefully you never need it, but there is a spare tire right here. Um, just so you're aware, trailers don't come with jacks for changing tires. You would use your vehicle jack. Obviously you're towing it with a vehicle. You'd use that vehicle jack to, to help change the tire. Um, this is that other side of that storage compartment. And then right here, you have one of your dump tanks, okay? This is the black water tank dump. On the other side, there's a gray water, and we'll get to that in a minute. All you would do is you're gonna hook your sewer hose onto here, and then it goes into the ground of the dump station, and then you'll pull this valve here, and it'll drain out. You'll close that valve, uh, and then you would move the hose over to the gray water, which is right over here. You would hook it on and pull the gray water valve, let that drain out. It kind of cleans out the hose. You always kind of want to do the black water first. Uh, and then follow it with this one, uh, the gray water. So right here is your power connect. There's a big power cord that goes with this guy. You'll just hook it on right here. And then the other part goes into either your generator or the shore power um, to run the power in the coach. Um, lastly, you have your water connect right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is for your water tank. We always recommend you just use the water tank with the water pump. There's a city connect here, but what happens is people will hook on, the water pressure isn't that, or it's very good or too strong, and it'll actually cause leaks within the RV. So we always recommend you just fill up the tank, and then anytime you're using water, go ahead and use the water pump. Um, if you are, for some reason, hooking into city water, a couple rules you wanna follow. Anytime you're not running the city water, come outside, turn off the water pump or water source. If you're going to bed at night, turn off the water source. If you're going out on a trip, turn off the water source. These are not, the plumbing in here is not like your house. Um, they would be, um, it's just uh, plastic fittings and things like that. So um, any water pressure will cause them to leak. They're not like soldered or metal piping or tubing or anything. So just be extremely careful with the water. Well, let's head on inside and take a look and uh, we'll show you how to use it in there. All right, guys, we're gonna go over how to use the inside of this RV. First of all, right here, there's two switches. This one on the left is for the exterior lighting. This one is for the interior lighting. You do have a television here, which is pretty nice. Uh, just remember, this does not have a DVD player. If you wanna use a DVD player or anything, you just need to bring your own DVD or even like an Amazon Fire Stick or something uh, if you have Wi-Fi access and all that. Uh, right here, uh, this dinette is pretty awesome. It converts into a sleeper. To do that, you just lift up the table, you pop it up, you're gonna take these two legs off, and then this table is actually gonna sit down on these little bump stops right here. So you'll just put that down, and then each of these back cushions go right on top of the table, and that's what creates another sleeping area for you. It's pretty cool. And then right around on the back side of the uh, dinette here are all the controls. You're gonna have your all your gauge levels, all your tank levels, uh, your power, um, your your battery uh, levels, and then you also have your water pump and your water heater. Um, just remember, these are just guides. They are not 100% accurate on the levels of, of like the water tanks, especially the black water and gray water. 
Um, those usually are not very accurate at all, actually. Um, so right here, also in case you need it, there's a GFCI outlet. Say something electrical is not working, we recommend you always check that first. As you come around, uh, you do have a nice sink area, and right above, you have your radio. <coughs> Excuse me. You have your radio and a solar controller. Uh, and then to the left of that uh, sink right there, you do have your stove top. It is a two burner gas uh, stove top propane. Um, so you do need to lift the glass up. That's not a glass cooktop. That now becomes your backsplash. Um, you do have two control knobs. Uh, just make sure you do not have a large pan or anything uh, on this one. Uh, these will melt if you put a too big of a pan on there. Um, so be extremely careful. We recommend if you got a big pan, you just use the left side. Uh, if you do melt these, they are about $40 for the knobs, which is crazy, but that's what they are. So anyways, when you're done, go ahead and you can shut this down like that uh, when you're not cooking. And then it's got a nice surface area to put stuff on. Uh, right below it, it does have a convection microwave oven there. So you, for using your microwave stuff, just remember any major appliances, the air conditioner, the microwave, all that kind of stuff. You do need your generator running. You do need shore power. Um, or your generator running. So plugged in at the park or shore power. Um, right there is the control box, just like your house would have. It's like a breaker box. There are some fuses and some breakers in there. If something's not working, that would be the second place to check. Um, right above that is your refrigerator. Um, uh, we'll go over that in a second, but all the way on the rooftop is your air conditioning unit. Uh, there is a thermostat controller on the wall that we'll go over. Um, and then um, to run the fridge, we're gonna go over that. There is a little freezer inside of here, which is nice. Um, all you do is you're going to hit the on and off button. Uh, it's the one on the left. I'll point to it right here. Good. And then the one on the right is actually your gas. Um, if you're gonna be dry camping, you'll have that out in the gas mode. Um, just remember they take about six to eight hours to get cold. So make sure you start that before you're leaving town. Um, uh, it will take a while to get cold. It also makes sure you have your propane on. Uh, this is the uh, thermostat. It's gonna control the heater and the air conditioner and your fan, all those modes. Um, all you need to do is cycle through those uh, using the correct button, which is the bottom button. And, the, and then you'll have the up and down control. Um, you do have a light switch right here for the uh, bathroom. Uh, and in here is your shower and your toilet. Um, it is not huge, but it definitely gets the job done. It's better than not having anything. Um, pretty nice little setup for this small trailer. This is a fantastic trailer. You guys are gonna love it. We're excited to have you um, stay with us in it and uh, we will uh, we'll see you soon.